Praise the living Jesus. You are happy to be in God's presence this morning. You want you to rise on your feet and give honor to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the I am that I am, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the one that has sustained you, the one that has brought you here again this morning, the one that kept you saved during the course of the week, the one that did not make you a victim to the deadly diseases ravaging the world, why don't you wave your hands to Jesus this morning and begin to say, Father, I thank you. Father, I acknowledge your faithfulness in my life. Father, thank you for sustenance. Thank you for your help. Lord Jesus, thank you for everything that you have done for me and my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wondrous work in my life and family. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for decorating me and my household with your favor and blessing. Ancient of days, I say thank you. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I am here again in your presence this morning. Father, by your word, visit me. Your word says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of pain. Lord, I have come here again to obtain your mercy and to find your help this morning. Father, visit me by your word. Visit me by the communion table this morning. Visit me and all that pertains to me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I refuse to be distracted this morning. I refuse to be carried away, Lord. I refuse to be an onlooker this morning. I have not come here to warm the bed. I have come here to partake of your word in my life. Ancient of days, visit me by your word this morning. Visit me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has promised. Lord, I have come here this morning, Lord. Do unto me as you have promised this morning. In the name of Jesus, visit me this morning. Jesus wept because they knew not the hour of their visitation. Lord, this morning I won't miss my hour of visitation. Today is my day of visitation and I won't miss it, Lord. All barriers shall be broken in my life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for offering me into your presence again this morning. Ancient of days, I thank you, because I know your word is coming expressly in my way this morning. And I know that shadows shall be broken by your word this morning. I know that by the communion this morning, every yoke shall be broken, Lord. I know by the communion table this morning, Lord, I am receiving a new life, Lord. After the order of Christ, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, ancient of days, I look up to you this morning, Lord. From whence comes my help, my help comes from you, Lord. Lord, visit me, Lord. Stretch forth your hands towards me this morning, Lord. And visit me and all that concerns me, Lord. Visit me and my desires this morning. Visit me and all that I'm visiting you for this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, from this service today, I am returning home blessed. Why don't you begin to say those words to yourself this morning? Say, in this service today, I am returning blessed. In this service today, I am returning with my testimony. In this service today, I am breaking all barriers. In this service today, I am breaking through. Lord Jesus, visit everyone by your word this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you know God has answered your prayer this morning, why don't you wave your hands of thanksgiving to him this morning? Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Thank you, precious Father. We decree this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I know God has done wondrous things for us during the week. Let's endeavor to signify by taking down our testimonies and we'll be calling you for us to share them. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. We welcome the choir.
hallelujah is for our pocket. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah like a winner. Praise the Lord. We shall continually win in the name of Jesus. Why don't you welcome your neighbor from your left to your right? Say, neighbor, welcome, welcome to this breaking and visible barrier and communion service. I can see the glory of God radiating all over you. You shall continue to shine in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I welcome us all to this breaking and visible barrier and communion service this morning. And I pray that this morning, every barrier that may be on our way, will be broken this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And every form of ignorance will be shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen like you believe it. Amen. We shall be calling ourselves to worship this morning from the book of Psalm 24 and verse 1. Let's open our Bible to the book of Psalm chapter 24. We we'll take it from verse 1 to 10. If you are there, say praise God. If you are not there, say please wait for me. You'll be there in Jesus' name. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Verse 2, let's take it, the congregation. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? Verse 4. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse 6. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Verse 8 O is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Verse 10 Together, O is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts he is the King of glory. This morning, every gate that may be hindering you or hindering your breakthrough this morning shall be lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus. And the King of glory will manifest practically in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands together for Jesus this morning. Let's start. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we give a clap offering to the King of Kings, the Lord of the Lord, the hand of the hand? Praise the living Jesus. It is announcement time. I shall be announced. Tell your neighbor, I shall be announced. And shall be announced to your world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Winners Chapel International Brisbane. The branch of the Living Faith Church worldwide, also known as Winners Chapel International. Our mandate is to liberate the world from all the oppressions of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith. Praise the Lord. The prophetic focus for the month of March 2022 is I'm redeemed for the topmost top. Can we all echo it together? I am redeemed for the topmost top. Can you say to yourself, like you mean it, that I am redeemed for the topmost top, and that shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. The book for the month, October of Father in the Lord, Dr. David O. Boyedepo, includes following the path of the eagle, exploring the secret of sources, sources bottom, sources strategies, Success system and ruling your world. Endeavor to lay your hands on one or two of this material, and I pray that God will open the eyes of your understanding in the name of Jesus. As to house fellowship, our house to house fellowship, also known as Home Council, every Saturday in all of our WSF platform. The time is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Please note 
more as provider are needed on our WSL platform to accommodate the heart of God in their home. Please, if you are interested, you want to make God to reside in your home, you want to bring Jesus into your home. Why not? See Bro Okwer for more details and God will give you the blessing of obedience you have to do this in the name of Jesus. Tithe and offering. For tithe and offering, worship offering, shiloh, sacrificial offering, fowls, and every other covenant seed we've made with the Lord. Please endeavor to send your money into the bank details that is appearing on the screen. The BSB 064159. The account number is 1047-6010. The bank is Commonwealth Bank. I pray God shall increase you as you do this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Testimonies. Can you share the great act of God in your life? As you see them preserved, multiplied, and perfected, you will send your testimony to winners. You will send your testimony to testimony at winnerschapelbrisbane.com. And I pray as you do this, God shall preserve your, that blessing for you in the name of Jesus. You can also register your testimony with Brother Novo at the beginning of the service and you shall be called in due course to share your testimony. I pray God will increase you as you do this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good news, good news, good news. Eat a happy cup of Jesus. Amen. Seven God pays. In accordance with the word of God in the book of Job 36, 11, we encourage you to join any of our service union. And as you do so, you shall spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures. Please don't hesitate to indicate your interest in any of the service group that are listed on the screen. The service group include the children department, we have the technical unit, we have the choir, the choir is really a need of our sisters. I pray God will speak to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Kingdom service leader and head of units are hereby encouraged to be part of the pre-service prayers. The time is 9.15 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. God bless you as you comply in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please note. We shall, be, uh, we shall be connecting online to our Melbourne chapter for the midweek service through YouTube. The time is 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Brisbane time. It's on every Wednesday. We shall be waiting in the law with fasting and prayer. And as our custom is, we shall be breaking our fasting with communion. Connect with your loved ones, family and friends for a life-changing encounter. On the prayer altar, here is the word and communion table. Please endeavor to join very anywhere you are. You can easily connect on Zoom. God bless you as you do this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good news, good news, good news. Amen. Good news shall never cease from your house in the name of Jesus. Join us every Sunday for an amazing service. The time is 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Don't forget to inform your friends, family, and your neighbor, and every of your affairs feed contacts. That person you see every day you are working with. Please tell the person about what the Lord is doing in our needs, and the blessing shall be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Good news, good news, good news. Amen. Next Sunday, the 30th March 2022, at Winners Chapel, Brisbane shall be our monthly anointing service. It is time, Confident Day of Marital Breakthrough. Confident Day of Marital Breakthrough. I'm sure you don't want to miss service, miss this service for anything. Please don't come alone. You know, invite your friends, your neighbors, your affairs in contact, all those people you need to send messages to. Why not send message to them? And if there's a need for us to make any special arrangement, to convey them to the church, please let us know and we shall do. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It is our testimony time. A very true time. 
Before I read the documented testimonies from Kenan Nand, I would like to invite our sister, Sister Peace, for her testimony. I want to thank God for divine healing. Actually, it was a healing from above. Because you know, two weeks ago, I came back from work and everything was fine just in the middle of the night. I don't know what went wrong. I was like, the pain was so intense, my stomach it was like, they want to cut me into two. So I brought, I got my husband to pray for me. I took anointing, I took communion, but the pain was so intense. Nobody was there, I looked at my children and said, God help me. So I called my sister-in-law, they drove me to the emergency. So when we got there, they saw the pain, but they said they can't do anything. I have to, they took all blood, really everything. They did all manner of tests, but nothing was there. So they asked me, they gave me painkiller. I went home in the morning. I slept at the emergency, I went home in the morning. So they said, the, there is nothing they found in the blood and the urine, everything was fine. But if at all the pain came back, she come back to them as if they knew it was going to come back. So I went home. On Friday, on Thursday evening, we started again. This now, I was just rolling on the floor. They have to call the ambulance to come and pick me. So we went back to the emergency room. When we got there, thank God, they gave me another painkiller. They ran another blood test. They said nothing was found, so they said I should go back to my GP. So thank God I went back, we did, we sent me to ultrasounds. I went there, nothing was found. I was like, God, what actually happened? I thank God for the prayers of the saints. People everywhere were praying for me because I know that there are some things, sometimes it's invisible. There are some things we cannot see, but it's only God that knows what happened to me. But I've come to return all the glory to God that he didn't come back after every. I didn't take any medication. It was only the anointing, the communion I was taking. I have to do the blood of spring. I did every spiritual exercise I knew I could do because since nothing was found, I knew it was the hand of the devil. But I thank God that God came and rescued me from that oppression of the devil. I want to return all the glory to God for divine healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Quickly, I will read this documented testimony from Kenan Land. Fifteen years of marriage are still broken. Some years ago, my elder sister invited me to this commission. Meanwhile, we believed God for marital breakthrough in my family. When my elder sister was ten years old, a man came to ask for her hand in marriage. At first, my father thought it was a joke, but four years later, the man came back again and asked for my elder sister's hand in marriage. My father refused the man's proposal and said my sister would like to go to school. Eventually, the man placed a curse on the family, which I did not know about until after some years, when my sister were ready, when my sisters were ready for marriage, sisters so were not coming. Then I came to the altar with my elder sister to pray. And each time we prayed, we used the word of God. Today, over 50 years of marital spell has been broken. I had my traditional white wedding, which no one in my family has ever done before. I give God all the glory for breaking this curse in my family. This testimony is from Ichorodo N. In your seated position, say thank you, Lord, for the divine healing for 50 years of marital spell broken. Father, we say thank you. Be thou exalted, actions of the days, for these wonderful testimonies. And we pray that we will be the next to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am more than a conqueror. Save me my man, right in Christ. Very short lips shall be rising up to thank God. And we shall be thanking God in this manner. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for drafting abiding multitudes into our service last Sunday and for granting every worshiper supernatural breakthroughs by your word. Our Bible reading, picking from the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8. I read, 
the Lord sent the word into Jacob and it alighted upon Israel. With this word in our heart, let us rise up Father, on our feet and thank God. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for drafting abiding multitudes into our service last Sunday and for granting every worshiper supernatural breakthroughs by your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the multitude you drafted into our service last Sunday and for granting every worshiper supernatural breakthroughs by your word. You sent your word into Jacob and it alighted upon Israel. You sent us your word last Sunday and it has changed our life forever. We have career breakthroughs, we have business breakthroughs, we have turn around testimonies, we have healings, we have financial breakthroughs, we have restoration. There your word that was, that was lighted upon us in our service last Sunday and we have returned as that one leper to say, Father, we thank you. We have come to say, Father, we worship you. We have come today to glorify your holy name for the supernatural breakthrough by your word we encounter in our service last Sunday. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for drafting abiding multitudes into our service last Sunday and for granting every worshiper supernatural breakthroughs by your word. You sent your word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. You sent us your word last Sunday and it has lighted upon us and has changed our life and it has changed our story. It has restored all we have lost. You have manifested your faithfulness in our life. We have come as that one leper to say, Father, we thank you. Let's begin to empower our prayer in the spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We worship you. We bless your holy name. We say thank you, Father, for all the supernatural breakthrough by your word that you granted every worshiper last Sunday. Let's be thank you some more. Appreciate you some more. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' name we give him thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shortly we'll be rising up to pray again. I'll be praying in this manner. Father, clear, clear off all barriers standing in the ways of every attendee in this service today, thereby empowering us to be more than a conqueror. We'll be reading from the book of First Corinthians 16, verse 9, which says, For a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. Can we please stand up to pray? Father, clear all of our real standing in the ways of every activity in this service today, thereby empowering us to be more than a conqueror. But I will thank you for today. We thank you for everything you've done for us. For every barrier standing on our way, for this service today shall be declared in the name of Jesus. Every barrier of any kind that is standing on our way, in our future, in our business, in our school, in our academics, is declared in the mighty name of Jesus. But I clear all our barriers standing in the way of every activity in this service today, thereby empowering us to be more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. We shall conquer every barrier standing on our way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every barrier that is in our way, in our family way, in our marital way, in every aspect of our life, is clear in the mighty name of Jesus. Most God Almighty, we give you praise, we give you honor. We thank you for everything you have done. The Lord is telling God for answers to prayers. And I will thank you for answers to prayer. We thank you for the barriers that are clear. I thank you for the Lord and the conqueror. We give you praise, we give you honor. Can you please wave your hand and call Jesus for answers to prayer? We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for all the barriers that are declared. We thank you because we are more than a conqueror. The team of Lydia will answer to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. We are happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Can we shout a bigger hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. Can we stand up on our feet and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Can you give God a thanks? Can you appreciate him for bringing you into, into his service this morning? He said many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them of all. Can you open your mouth and say thank you, Heavenly Father? This is the month of March, the third month. The God of preserved you. Can you appreciate Him for His supernatural supply, for the loving kindness, for His goodness, for the kindness, for the favor? Can you say, Father Lord, today, send your word towards my way, send my word. Give me an encounter in this service this morning. I don't know what your heart desire is. Can you begin to say, Father Lord, send my word, visit me in this service. By your word this morning, break every barrier, every invisible barrier. By your word, oh Lord, remove every unseen barrier, every unseen obstacle to the fulfillment of my destiny. Oh God, let it be removed by your word today. Send my word to my own way, God. Send my own word this morning. Give me an encounter of a lifetime in this service. Can you pray from the depth of your heart and say, Father Lord, because I'm in your house this morning, visit me, oh God, I shall never remain the same again. Thank God that, Father Lord, I shall, my life shall not re remain the same again. Move me forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, in this service today, Lord, visit us, O God. Send our word, O God. Open the eyes of our understanding. Give us a new understanding of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you said to do in the life of your people this morning. For the word you said to send into our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. amen. Let your amen sound like a thunder. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Let me use this privilege to welcome the people that are worshiping the Lord for the very first time. Um, if this is your fourth, fourth Sunday service in our midst, maybe you've 
gather with us in any other platform, but today is your first Sunday service. Please, can you signify by raising up your hand unto Jesus? Praise the Lord. You are welcome, sister. Please, people around here, can you extend a hand of greetings and welcome her? Can you welcome her? Please, sister, please, can you give us a song? Let's quickly welcome her in the winner's way. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Shall make thee the end and not the tail. 
and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which have commanded thee this day to observe and to do them, thou shalt be above only. That is the command. Thou shalt be above only. We are not meant to be beneath. Our children are not meant to be the bottom of the class. They are meant to be at the top. He said, Thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above only. Anything short of that is an aberration. Anything short of you flying as a child of God is an abuse of redemption. God wants us to operate at the top. And that is why it is written in the Bible. That thou shalt be above only. Praise the Lord. Therefore, everyone born of God is meant to live in life. We are meant to live in life. We are meant to enjoy life. We are meant to enjoy life as a child of God. That is what God is opening our eyes to see in the month of March. That if I'm born again, I'm supposed to be the head and not the tail in every way. And we must carry this consciousness as a child of God. That anywhere I go to, I must be the head. I cannot be the tail because the word of God says that I shall be the head and not the tail. I shall be above only mountain top experience of life. Mountain top experience of life. So if we are born again as the child of God and something we are not at the top or we are not enjoying life to the fullest, something is happening, then we must come to God with understanding. We must check in the Bible why is this happening. We must check our life. What are those things I'm doing that are supposed to stop? Or what are those things and men to be doing that I'm not doing? So as a child of God, at every point in time, we must carry the consciousness that we are meant to be at the top and not be named. It is commanded. It is God's commandment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All we need to do is to align ourselves with certain kingdom covenant demands. If you look at that, Deuteronomy 28, he said, if, if thou, if thou, if thou. That is why in this Sunday topic, we'll be looking at exploring success virtues in kingdom stewardship. One of the ways for us to enjoy mountain top experience of life is through kingdom stewardship. It's through serving God and serving the interest of God. Praise the Lord. The time of the two twelve. He said, so the Lord alone did heal him, and there was no strange God with him. There was no strange God with him. God wants us to enjoy life. God speaking in the book of 3 John 2, he said, I wish above all things, above all things, above whatever you may be doing, that may, thou may prosper and be in hell even as the soul prospers which means that being born again is not enough your soul prospering is not enough being anointed is not enough above all this god wants us to prosper as his child as a child of god he wants us to to enjoy life to the fullest he said above all things i wish that you may prosper in everything that you do so as a child of God, whatever we lay our hands upon is meant to be prosperous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. However, before we can enjoy this package, we must come with understanding. Praise the Lord. Amen. We discover from the scripture that access to all things that make life and godliness, which includes success, come cheaply through dedication to kingdom advancement endeavor. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. We discover that most of these things, success in life, we can achieve it easily through being dedicated to serving God. Through kingdom advancement endeavor, anything that propagates the kingdom of God, that is a shorter way, a cheaper way of achieving success in life is by serving God. Serving God. Obey scriptural instruction. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the account of our popular scripture, the book of Matthew 6, 33, if you read from verse 25, God was talking about how you must not think about what, what you are going to eat or what you are going to drink. Please let me quickly read the book of Matthew 6 from verse 31. If you can put it on the screen, Matthew 6 from verse 31. It says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what either shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles see. The Gentiles run after it one after the other. He said, For your Father who has in heaven, know that you are in need of these things. But he said, There is one way. He said, There is one sure way that you can get all these things in life. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto thee. Imagine you have seven things to run after. What some people do is to run after it one after the other. Breakthrough, they run after it. Success, they run after it. Prosperity separate. For how many years? Some people chase prosperity for 20 years. Then good health, another 20 years. And they'll be going from one place to another. But God is telling us that just do just one thing and every other thing shall be handed on, on today. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be handed on today. One of the things that God has given unto us as a child of God is success. We are meant to be successful. Success is our birthright as a redeemed child of God. Success is our birthright as a redeemed child of God. We are meant to be successful in everything that we do. But he said, if you want this thing to come, do one thing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto thee. The Father himself knows that we need all these things. The Father knows that we are in need of children. He knows we must pass our course to the flying color. He knows that we need, we need our peer. He knows that we need to be married. He knows we need to build a glorious family. He knows. He knows. He knows. He himself knows. And he said, do this one thing. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. I pray God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I've never seen anyone that seek God and fail in life. That is the truth. You cannot run after God. You cannot serve God and be stranded in life. There's the book of Psalm 33, 10. He said, the young lion do laugh and suffer hunger. He said, but those that seek the Lord shall not want any good things. When you seek the Lord, you shall not lack any good things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Every good thing is found in the Lord. It's found in serving God. For example, all the seven redemptive package as contained in the book of Revelation 5.12, power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing are all accessible through serving God faithfully in our various capacity. In our various capacity, all the redemptive packages, power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, blessing, they can come cheaply to us by serving God faithfully 
it with our various capacity, respective capacity. There is an account in the Bible, in the book of Matthew 25. Matthew 25, the, uh, from verse 14 to 15. Matthew 25, 14 to 15. He said, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. 15. And unto one he gave five talents, to another he gave two, to another one, to every man according to his several ability. Praise the Lord. He gave to every man according to his own several ability. That means that God has deposited some certain gift in you. When you are at your own capacity, he gave some five, he gave some two, he gave another one man. There are abilities that God has invested in you. And all those abilities is for you to serve him. That gift that God has given unto you that he has deposited is for you to serve him. So anytime he's coming, he's coming to visit you according to the ability he has invested in your life. And you will be checking for profit. What have you done with it? Praise the Lord. There are some people that God has, has called to be in the altar of prayer for the kingdom of God. They are meant to stand in the gap for the lost souls. There are some of us that we can pray. Some people, before they pray for one hour, they are tired. But you know that you can pray. There are some people God has deposited that in their life. And all you need to do with it, you know, is, is to come and start standing in the gap for the lost souls. Pray kingdom advancement prayer. That is, that is what that ability, that gift, that is what it meant for. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the account of Luke 2, 36 and 37, there, there was a woman, I will quickly read, and there was one Hannah, a prophetess, the daughter of Nao, of the tribe of Asim. She was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from our virginity, say 37, and she was a widow of about four scores and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayer night and day. That is what she, she does to serve God. He prayed night and day. So God may be calling you to intervene, to be at, to, 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 to be at the gap for the salvation of men and you can pray. That talent that God has given unto you, you must make use of it. She prayed day and night in fasting and prayer, night and day. That is all she does. Praise the Lord. There are some people that God has given the ability to reach out to lost souls. God has given you that ability to reach out to lost souls. God has given you the ability to invite people some people are talented in talking. They are talented in talking. All you, when they talk to you, you'll be convinced. Why don't you use it for God? Like the woman, he said, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. And the Bible recorded that a Lord believed for a saying and who testified in told of what I ever did. He said, a lot of people believe. All she does is come and see. Praise the Lord. There are some people God has endowed with resources. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has blessed you with the gift of giving. You find it easy to give. That is the ability that God has deposited in you to serve Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the ability, the grace that God has deposited in you to serve Him. Everything we have, we must use it to serve God. Our Jesus needed a fighting tone for the scripture to be fulfilled. That is the truth. Our Jesus needed a fighting tone. But out of everybody that followed him, none is rich enough. But there is a man, Joseph. The, the Bible records that he's a rich man. 
Joseph, man of Arimathea, who was also a Jesus disciple. He was the one that said, no, let me give my tongue to Jesus Christ. Why not? And the scripture is fulfilled and his name is mentioned in the book. And I pray God will open and give us a better understanding. And there are some people that God has deposited all this talent in you. You can talk, you can go out, you have the time, God has blessed you with resources. You have to use it for the propagation of the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Our assignment is to remain where God has called us to operate. There are some people that you can sing unto God. When you sing, you know that you can sing. You have to use your voice for God. That, that those talents, they are not just there. They are there for the interest of the kingdom. They are there with the, to serve God. He will always come to ask for the profit. That parable said, the demand that tried, he came back. And was asking them, Give me what have you used the talent to do? And the one that has five, he said, I'll produce more five. You know, the one that has two, and there is one that did not use, you know, the talent at all. And he was casted away. You shall not be casted away in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Until we use that our talent for God, breakthrough will still be in view. Until we use that our talent for God, success will still be in few. What the smart people do is that is the serve God. The serve God. Praise the Lord. Very quickly, we'll be looking at the benefits of serving God. What are the benefits? What are the benefits of serving God? What are the benefits, the package that are there in serving God? And the first one we'll be looking at serving God a platform for supernatural breakthrough. Serving God a sure platform for supernatural breakthrough. Praise the Lord. The book of Luke 5. Let us open our Bible to the book of Luke 5, 1 to 8. The book of Luke 5. It's about the Peter's bowl. I will quickly, I won't be able to read through it. When we get home, we can read in that account again. When Peter boat was made available for the Lord's use, there was a change of story from a life of struggle to a life of abundance. Jesus was going and he saw them in the boat. The first thing he asked them, can I make use of your boat? And Peter said, why not? Come inside. And he was there, he was preaching. And he saw their struggle. He saw the way they are struggling. He saw their struggle. And Peter is a professional fisherman. What he said was, he said, he said, we've toyed all day. we fish all day. All the technique, everything has failed. Everything has failed. But he said one thing, I die walk. He said, I die walk. I will cast the men into the ground. I normally tell people sometimes, the reason why God gave you that car or that house, is not because of you yourself. It's because it can make use of it. And when we make our house or our resources, when we make it available for God, it's multiplication. See how many bold, if Peter has remained in that business, see how many bold he would have gotten because he made just his bold available for God. Once he made it available and they caught a net breaking quantity of fish, a lot of fish that can buy as many boats as you want. That is the way it is. When we make our resources, our life, our time available to serve God, it is multiplication. Until we serve God with everything that we have, breakthrough will still be in view. Serving God is our sure way to talk most talk with desire. That thing that you desire, it can come cheaply by serving God. He said, Eyes has no sin. He said, Here has no sin. It has not come to the mind of any man. He said, What God has in store for those that love Him. When you love Him, you will serve Him. When you love Him, you will serve Him. All through my life as a child of God, for more than 30 years, I've served in Nostrum units. 
I serve in the unit and then, you know, we will clean the chair, come to church very early, 6 a.m. And one day I was serving and I had it loud and clear. And God said, because you did not allow my people to be stranded, He said, you will never be stranded in life. It's an encounter I can never forget in my life. It's, a, it's an encounter, it's a, it's, it, it's a life encounter that I will never forget in my life. On the platform of serving God. I heard it loud and clear. He said, you will never be stranded in life. And that is the way it has been for me. It, as if at the last minute for some to say, oh God, why this? God, something will just happen. Something will just happen. A lot of places that I supposed to be rejected. But I will say, you know, before I even pray, something will just happen. I will say, wow, this is the confident working. He told me, he said, because you do not allow my people to get stranded in church, he said, you will never be stranded in life. I can never forget. And you too shall never be stranded in life in the mighty name of Jesus. I've never seen anyone that served God beautifully and his life remain ugly. I've never seen anyone that served God beautifully and his life is not beautiful. That is the plain truth. When we serve God, He decorates our life. He gives us supernatural breakthrough. As we continue to engage in serving God, He continues to change our level. He continues to change our level. Engaging our heart to serve God in truth and in day is ordained for our continuous change of status. He said, but the path of the doors is as a shining light. He said, Thou shining more and more unto the perfect day. He shine more and more unto the perfect day. Serving God, what smart people do, smart people serve God. They serve God. They use their talent. They use their time. They use their resources. They use everything they have to serve God. And I pray as from today, the grace to serve God indeed shall come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two, serving God, a platform for experiencing supernatural favor. Serving God is another sure way to experience supernatural favor. Psalms 102, 13 he said, Thou shalt arrive and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea. The time, the said time is come. He said, For thy servant, thy servant take pleasure in a stone and favor the dust thereof. His servant, until we become God's servant, that favor may not come. Until we become God's servant, that favor will not come. I normally take the account of David. God speak in the book of Psalms 89 20. He said, I have found David my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. David has been growing up, but until he becomes servant, the anointing never comes. Until David becomes God's servant, he might have been doing a, a lot of other things for the Bible record. Until he became servant, he said, With my holy oil have I anointed him. Psalm 89, verse 3, he said, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. He said, Thy seed will I establish forever. Until David became the servant of God, that mountain top experience did not show up. It did not show up. The same thing in the book of 1 Kings 11 36. He said, Unto his son will I give thee our own tribe, the, that David, my servant, may have a light always before me in Jerusalem. Until David, my servant, until David become a servant, that mountain top experience was still in view. Praise the Lord. We must become, we must serve God with everything. Kingdom stewardship. Kingdom stewardship. Until we serve God with everything that we have. Our time, 
that our time, God really appreciate the time that we invest in serving Him. God really appreciate the time that we invest in serving Him. And if you remember, there was a man in the account in the, the Bible and said, the good man, and God said, He said, Your prayer and your offering has come to my remembrance. What is going to come into God's remembrance when we face challenge? I could remember a king that was sent in the Bible, you are going to die. And he challenged God. He said, oh God, why can, can you do this? See what I've done. I've served you with integrity of the heart. I've done this, I've done that. In your house, I've done this, I've done. Immediately, before the prophet reached the gate, he said, go back. And tells him, I've added years unto his years. I pray the grace to serve God will come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. When we serve God, God favors us. The favor of God, serving God, position us for divine favor. Someone said, when God's interest begins to interest you, then God begins to take interest in your life, in your interest. When you take interest in things that pertain to God, God will become to be interested in our affair. When you see people having a smooth ride in life, change their dedication to God. When you see people that faithful follow them, anywhere they get to, they don't struggle in life. Whatever people are struggling for, when they get there, it comes with ease. Check their dedication. The funniest thing is that we can even infest this, we can serve God and infest it in the life of your children. Some people, are, some people, they are not even the one, but what the parents have done is following them. The faithful that the parents, the investment that their parents have done into the house of God is still following the children. Praise the living Jesus. When you see people that are having smooth ride in life, check their dedication to God. It's faithful that eliminates struggles in our life. Praise the living Jesus. And then God writing about the, 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 the people of Israel life. In the book of Exodus 3 21, Exodus 3, verse 21, he said, And I will give these people favor in the sight of Egyptians. He said, It shall come to pass that when he go, they shall not go empty. He said, I will have favor in their sight. And I pray, anywhere you go after today, the Lord will favor you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The law of the nature was suspended for their sake. The Israelites, they enjoy life in the fullest, absolute earth. He suffered no man to do them wrong. And that was the way it is for them. And I pray that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Very quickly, I will go today because today is our covenant day of breaking a physical barrier. Breaking a physical barrier. The truth is this, there are some battles in life that you, you did not see. There are some battles in life you, you are fighting it, but you did not even see, you did not even know. You don't know where they are coming from. You just know that there are some battles, some forces. That's why Paul was saying, he said, great and effectual doors are open unto me. But there are great adversaries. There are many enemies blocking the gates. There are many enemies that are blocking the gates. So there are battles that you did not see. And today, every invisible battle, every invisible barrier shall be broken down before us today in the mighty name of Jesus. By the word of God coming your way today, every invisible barrier, every obstacle, every invisible barrier, every hindrance to you to fulfilling destiny shall be removed before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We must know that a physical barrier are real. A physical barrier, they are real. That is the truth. A lot of people are fighting a lot of battle that they did not know. They did not know. In the book of Matthew 13, 24 to 28, it was talking about a farmer that sows seed. He sows seed. You've been planting good seed. You think your life is beautiful. He said, but a time comes that enemy come, you know, and they notice that 
there are, you know, cars in the land. He said, when? He said, the enemy will have done this. The enemy will have caused this. I pray every of our enemy, anywhere they are coming from, they shall bow today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, he said unto them, enemy has done this. The enemy has done this. Every obstacle, every barrier that the enemy from wherever they may come from, they've set before us. God is removing them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. However, we have a redemptive right to clear them of our paths. And what we must do, we must be a child of God, a child of light. We must walk in faith. We must know by our faith, for we walk by faith and not by sight. We must keep serving God. Serving God makes things easy for us. Serving God even makes all this battle. You will be fighting them and God will be winning the battle for us. Because when you are serving God, in fact, God will tell you that no, you are not going anywhere. The plan of the enemy cannot come over you because you are useful unto God. And I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of barrier, every form of invisible barrier, shall be removed before us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you are blessed this morning. If you are blessed, can you stand upon your face and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? That Father Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Can you reveal? Can you pray for grace? Grace to serve God. Ah, beautifully, the grace to serve God. The grace to serve God in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you pray unto God? Pray unto God, Father Lord. Father Lord, Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Give God thanks for answers to your prayers this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated in God's presence. Before we partake of the communion this morning, uh, we need to understand, we need to understand this morning, as you have heard from that message, what will be your service that God will remember? Remember, the scripture says, put me in remembrance. And Ezekiah did that. He said, Lord, remember how I served you. Remember this and remember God. So God himself has ordained us, has given us the open ticket to put him in remembrance, to remind him. You understand? And one of the things that we need to remind God of is what? Our services in his kingdom. Now, the question for you and I to go home with this morning is, what is my service in the kingdom? What is that service that I can use to remind God of my situation? You know, I said to someone on evangelism yesterday, there are certain things you don't need to pray for. God does begin to add them to you. Because why? Because of your services in this kingdom. I pray that as that word has come to you this morning, God will make you a doer in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you become a doer, the evidence of being a doer will reflect in your life and it will manifest greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we, if you are here and uh, you are not born again or you are not sure whether you are born again yet, I would like you to signify by raising up your hand. Uh, we never like to close our service without giving someone an opportunity to meet with Christ. Because we can understand from that, from that message today that life is full of battles. But the good news is, in that same battle, God has made a victorious way for us. But it's not just for us, it's for the believers. It said we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. Not everyone can keep declaring that word. It is only for the believers. Praise, praise the Lord. It is only for the believer. The scripture says in 1 John 5, 4, it says, For whosoever is born of God, overcoming the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Praise the Lord. But only those that are born again can actually overcome. Praise the Lord. 1 John 5, 5 tells us, it says, Who is he that overcometh the world? For that was he that believed that Jesus 
is the Son of God. In the light of this, if you are here, I would like you to signify by raising up your hand so we can pray with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, let's understand that in this communion today, the power in the blood of Jesus is available for us all. The power to break every barrier, the power to shatter every form of gates of hell that may be standing in our way. You really, really recall that testimony of our sister. He said, they have done all tests, but nothing was found. And she knew within herself that this is an invisible battle. And you know, the scripture says, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Praise the Lord. So one of the weapons of our victory, one of the weapons of our warfare is the communion table today, which is made available to you. I would like you to rise on your feet this morning and begin to take whatever you want from this communion table. Please, I don't want you to partake of this communion table as one of those, you know, uh, crunchies or one of those snacks. Believe and partake of this communion in faith. Begin to tell God, say, Lord, by this communion table, every gate of hell that may come my way, Lord, scatter them by this communion table. Lord, by this communion table, let your order of favor be written all over me. By this communion table, Lord, let my let me receive the life of Christ. The scripture says in the book of Leviticus, it says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And we now have the blood of Christ here. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. By what? By faith. So I'd like you to pray in faith this morning. Say, Lord, by this communion table, every sicknesses and diseases in my body are vanishing right now in the name of Jesus. Sickness has no place in my body. By this communion table, shackles are broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. By this communion table, coronavirus and all manner of variants that the doctors might have named them have no place in my own body. In the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is more than the white blood corpuscles. The white blood corpuscles is the one that engulfs the amoeba and chokes amoeba to death. I pray that this morning, the, this blood of Jesus will choke any form of sicknesses and diseases in your body to death in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness has no place in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray this morning that by this communion table, Lord, barriers are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere the soul of your foot rests upon, gates shall be opened unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. As gates were opened unto Cyrus, the anointed of God, gates will be opened unto you this morning by this communion table in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as your people partake of this communion, Lord, let everyone be fortified in their strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We celebrate you, Lord. We declare this blood and the flesh of Jesus in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. And as we partake of it in faith, Lord, we pray, Lord, that the life of Christ becomes dwelling in us in the mighty name of Jesus. And because no barriers can stand in the way of Christ, no barriers can stand in our way anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are more than conquerors as we partake of this communion table in faith this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Partake of the communion table and God bless us all in Jesus' name. The choir. Power, power, wonder-working heart in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, wonder-working
person. Let's stretch out our hand this morning. Father, we thank you for today's service. We give you all the praise. Patient of those who pray, Lord, as your people depart from here, Lord, they go and return with their testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we proclaim this week a blessed week for everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. No evil shall come here in the dwelling places of anyone in this service today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray, Lord Almighty, that everything the hands of your people shall touch today, Lord, shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere the soul of their foot shall tread, you will give unto them for possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we have partaken of your body and the, and the, and the blood this morning, Lord. We pray, Lord Almighty, sickness and diseases will not have a place in our own bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, is there anyone here believing you for God, believing you for a breakthrough, believing you for promotion? Lord, come next Sunday, Lord. It shall be a testimony that Lord for it for that person in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, for everyone here that have their businesses, Lord, we pray, Lord, a new order of patronage will they experience this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and manifest destiny in the name of Jesus. Go and return with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. You will manifest as more than a conqueror that you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We celebrate your faithfulness. Everyone this week will enjoy your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that this week, O Lord, good news shall be the order of the day for everyone in the name of Jesus. Where you have not applied, you will receive a call to come and pick up jobs. In the mighty name of Jesus. And not just jobs, glorious jobs. In the mighty name of Jesus. For everyone believing you here for their permanent residency, Lord, do it in the grand star. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do it effortlessly. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's share the goodness in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord and more than the conqueror. I said it's my birthright in Christ. Congratulations. Amen and amen.